We're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Hey guys, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to share with you what I got at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I did talk about in previous videos that I don't think this sale is that great. However, I do still shop it. It's just my shopping patterns have kind of changed over the years. I do buy a lot less clothes and I focus more on like home and beauty products just because I think that is better deals. I personally just prefer to find designer clothes and handbags at really great prices. Didn't know I did recently start a Facebook group where I am sharing all my secrets on where to get the best designer deals. So it's a really fun community. I will leave the link in my description box, but definitely join, it's completely free and we share sales. So in this video, I felt like I would share with you what I bought, but also what I returned because it didn't work for me. I feel like stuff like that is very helpful. And so even though it didn't work for me, maybe it works for you. Take it with a grain of salt. Remember, we all have different bodies and we're all different heights. So what works for me may not work for you and vice versa, but I did want to share with you um, the items that did not work. So unfortunately, the free people, my only sunshine sweater, I ordered it and they never shipped it to me. Nordstrom forgot to put it in my box. So I contacted customer service and unfortunately the sweater was sold out in my size. I have yet to see it come back in stock, so I never got it. So I have no idea if this is even cute or not. I don't even know if it fits well. All I know is I paid for it and I never got it. I did order quite a few free people items because I just do really like free people. I ordered this green bodysuit and decided not to keep it. I just wasn't in love with it for 40 something dollars. I thought it was okay. Like it looks cute on a lot of people. It didn't look bad on me and it fit well. In all honesty, I just wasn't in love with it. So let's talk about this free people sweater. I did not like it. I got it in a size small. It was ginormous. I look like a giant marshmallow and it just was not flattering at all. Maybe like with leggings or something and maybe it's the color I bought it in because I bought it in blue but it wasn't working for me. It didn't look cute on me at all. I didn't like it how it had like a double layer of like something going on in my neck. I just wasn't feeling it. I'm a big fan of good American jeans. I feel like they always do fit really well, but for some reason, this pair did not fit well. It didn't really look that great on me, so I returned it. Everybody raves about mother jeans, and I really wanted to like them, but they didn't look good on me, so I actually returned those as well. I think that just buying jeans for every woman is just hard. Every woman has a hard time finding jeans and you just kind of find a brand that kind of works for you. I've noticed for me that just certain brands work for me or they don't. So like Frame Denim is one of my favorite brands. It works really well for me and I kind of just maybe need to stick with them. I don't know. I try to try new brands but they don't always work. All right so let's move on to the fun stuff. I want to talk about the things that I actually bought. So I personally love buying candles for my home. It just brings memories. Like there's something about a good smelling candle that makes me think of certain things. So like during the holidays, I love to have my holiday candles. During fall, I have some, summer. I like making new memories with candles. So I am a big fan of buying candles when they're on sale. So I did pick up this one. It's a little flower candle. And I actually love to reuse candle holders. So sometimes I do just really, if they're really aesthetically pleasing, I like to buy it. I think this would be so cute. You can make it a little jewelry box or something when you're done. So basically what you do is when you're finished with the candle, you just scoop out the wax like right after you use it and you're at the end of it while it's still warm, you scoop it out and then you can actually use the container. And I love doing that with pretty candles. I also picked up this anthropology candle. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. It's like kind of reminds me of like a seashell, like a unicorn. I don't even know, it's just so pretty. And I think that this would look so pretty after I finish with the candle on my vanity, you could use it for makeup brushes. Like I said, I love reusing candle holders and this one is gorgeous. And of course it smells amazing, obviously. I had to make sure it smells good too, but this is gardenia flavored and it is so nice. Okay, this next item, I don't even wanna show you because it's an expensive habit. And if you start buying this, you're gonna get obsessed with it and I'm a sorry, I'm gonna apologize now. 
but like you'll never be able to go back to drugstore deodorant ever again. And it is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. So it is my absolute favorite, favorite deodorant, but it's expensive. I think it's like $24 for one. So during the Nordstrom sale, they put a pack of three of them together. So you're buying them in bulk. So it's almost like you got one for free. So I picked them up and it is my favorite deodorant guys. And I actually learned about this a couple years ago and I cannot go back to drugstore deodorant. So I'm very sorry if I get you hooked on this, but it will be like a game changer for you. I don't know, your armpits are gonna smell amazing and it works really well. So one of my absolute favorite beauty brands is Dior. I love, love, love their makeup. So when I saw the two um, Dior things, I went ahead and got them. I knew I wanted the Dior mascara ones because I actually use these all the time. I love them. I also really love the primer. So you get the primer and you get the mascara. You get a little mascara and you get a little cute little like Dior makeup bag. And then the other one is the Dior lip gloss one. And I'm going to be honest, like the Dior lip glosses, I like them, but they're not my favorite. I definitely think there are better lip glosses out there, but I really love the little pink Dior makeup bag. So I did buy it just to see if like I liked everything in it and I thought I might return it. Um, but I am keeping it because it's just really cute. Like I said, I do love Dior and the little makeup bag is really cute that comes with it. And it's just a cute little travel makeup bag as well. But um, Dior makeup is absolutely one of my favorite brands. If you haven't tried them, it is quite pricey, but it's high quality, absolutely stunning makeup. So MAC makeup is one of my oldies but goodies. I've been using MAC makeup since I was like in middle school and I love their Fix Plus. So you get the watermelon flavored one, their Prep and Prime, and then a little micro one, which is really great for traveling. And so I thought that this was a pretty good deal. It's just super cute and very functional. It's something I use every single day. I love spraying my face after I use makeup. It just keeps everything in place. This one is like an OG for me. It's something I've been using for years. Like I like to try new brands and I kind of, you know, sometimes take a break from this one, but it's always one that I go back to and I love MAC makeup, I think that they make really good stuff. So when I saw this at the anniversary sale, I decided to pick it up. So the last item that I bought from makeup was the Becca primer. I really love that primer and it was on sale. So I got that and it hasn't come yet. So I don't have it to show you, but it's a very good primer. If you are in the market for a new primer, I really love Becca Cosmetics. It gives you like a nice glow and it's just super pretty and it's a great price right now. I went ahead and picked up two beauty tools. As you can see, most of the stuff I bought from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale is beauty because I feel like you get the best deals on that and where the clothes I just don't think are that great of a deal. However, I did buy a few, a small amount of clothes, which I'm gonna show you. But the first thing from the beauty tools I bought was the Dermaflash. And this is gonna be $140 after the sale, $99 now. So you're saving about $40. And I've heard very good things about um, Dermaflashes in general, just they exfoliate your skin and it looks amazing. So I have yet to try this, but I'm very excited to. I don't see like how you could go wrong with this product. I think it's a really good product and I can't speak to it because I haven't used it yet, but I've only heard good things from family and coworkers who have one of these, so that's why I decided to get it. All right, and then the second beauty product I bought was the Light Stim, and this is for wrinkles. They had another one for acne, but basically what it is, it's just like it maintain, it's supposed to reduce and eliminate fine lines and wrinkles, so I'm all about that and it's FDA cleared and it's just like kind of like a light, like a UV light that you put for three minutes in each spot. So it's a good thing, like you can kind of just do it when you're at home relaxing, like if you're watching Netflix or something, just grab this out and do it real quick. Um, it doesn't have to be like a whole ordeal, which sometimes for me, like by the time I get to bed, I'm exhausted and I just like, I don't want to do all these beauty like regimen things. So it's always a good way to find creative ways to make it a habit. So like while you're watching Netflix, just pull this out and do it. When you're taking a bath every night, you know, if you just get into a routine of using these things, you will use them. You just have to make the time for it. So you guys, I'm very proud of myself this year. I did not buy many clothes at all. And I'm going to show you exactly which ones I did buy. First thing I bought were the frame denim with the ripped holes. These fit 
so good. They look so cute on. They have a ton of stretch in them and frame denim always works for me. I think sometimes you just have to find that brand that works for you when it comes to jeans and like frame never disappoints. I always look good in frame jeans. So I love how they're stretchy. I hate when jeans are 100% cotton. I find them to be very uncomfortable. So I love that frame always puts a little bit of a last stain in their jeans. And I personally think it's more comfortable. So love these. And one thing that I buy every year at the Nordstrom sale that really works for me is athleisure wear. I think that it's a good time to buy it because it's really hard to find um, athletic pieces on sale by the brands that I personally like later on in the year and Alo is one of them. So I did get the matching set. I actually wore, wore it to my workout this morning. I got the purple color and I love the back of it. It's super cute. So yeah, I just got the matching set and I pretty much buy Alo leggings every single year during the Nordstrom sale because it's very difficult to find this brand on sale. I hardly ever see it at like places like Nordstrom Rack and when I do, it'll be like one item and it'll never usually be my size. So yeah, Alo is such a great workout brand. If you have not tried them, they're one of my favorites. They fit so good and I like how they're shiny and it's just so cute. I was able to pick up the Nike shorts. They sold out and I actually bought them today. They restocked them. So I went and ordered them and those are on their way. So I don't know how they fit, but I'm excited to try them. Definitely keep checking the Nordstrom website because things are kind of coming back in stock. Something from your wish list comes back in stock, your phone will notify you um, if you have the Nordstrom app on your phone. So yeah, I was able to get a few pieces that way. And the biggest thing that came back in stock, which I talked about in my other video that I really wanted, were the Fendi sunglasses. And this was my big purchase from the anniversary sale. And I'm very excited. They look like this. I'll try them on for you. So cute. feel very classy and sophisticated in these sunglasses. So I'm excited about them and I'm so happy I was able to get them. They're so cute. I wasn't able to get these the first time if you didn't see that video. So this is a far cry difference from what I bought last year. I still did buy quite a chunk of things. It's far less than I did last year and it's actually useful items that I'm going to use like beauty products and beauty tools. I didn't buy many clothes this year and the few pieces that I did buy, I know I'm gonna wear a ton. If you didn't see my last Nordstrom video where I talk about how influencers ruined this sale, go check it out. It's quite an entertaining video and I will see you in that video next. Bye guys, have a great day.